Hey Casa de Garcia, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, hello, welcome. My name is Christina and today I'm going to be sharing with you how I make my beef birria inside of my Instapot. And then I'm going to show you how I make my queso tacos. So if this sounds like something you want to watch, go ahead and continue to watch. And here we go. <laughs> So today I'm going to be making a beef birria inside of my Instapot. And I'm actually using a frozen roast right out of my freezer. It is a beef chuck pot roast boneless prime, 5 pounds and 7 ounces. So I'm going to just stick my meat inside of my Instapot and then I'm going to go give it a quick rinse and then fill it with water to close to the fill line. <laughs> We're gonna add a half an onion, four big garlic cloves, a tablespoon of salt, a half a teaspoon of rosemary and thyme. Okay, then I'm gonna add a teaspoon of pimienta negra, AKA pepper, a teaspoon of cumino, and a teaspoon of ground cloves. You could also use the fresh cloves, but I'm gonna try the ground ones today. And then I'm also gonna add in about three to four bay leaves. I'm just gonna move that around a little bit. And I tried not to fill it all the way to the max because the broth that this is gonna make is definitely gonna pass that, but it's also a big piece of meat, so I wanna make sure it gets cooked pretty good. So yeah, those are my ingredients. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put my, you always wanna make sure that the ring thing is in here. And then, okay, stick that on there good. Make sure that that is all the way back on ceiling. Okay, then we're going to come over here and put on meat. Since this is a bigger piece of meat and it is frozen, I'm going to go ahead and set it for a 120. So it'll beep when it's ready. And there it is. But yeah, it's all ready to go. So we'll be ready to do the second part in about an hour and a half. So it cooked for about an hour and 10 minutes and then it slow released for about 18 minutes. So I just released the valve. Okay, while that finishes releasing the air, that'll probably take about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare the chiles. Now you could use any kind of combination, chile guajillo, New Mexico chili pods, or California. I'm using here what I had, which was six chile anchos, eight chile guajillo, six chile de arbol, and eight chile New Mexico. And then I'm gonna go ahead and remove the seeds. I'm going to take off the stems and then rinse them. Okay, then I stuck them all inside of my blender and I'm gonna go ahead and get some of the broth in. I'm gonna put a couple cups of the broth in there. So tender already. about a tablespoon of chicken bouillon and a tablespoon of chicken bouillon flavored with tomato. Then we're gonna go ahead and add the sauce back into the pot with the beef and then give it a stir and then give it a little taste test and see if it needs anything else. This is where you would add it. So I felt it needed about another tablespoon of the chicken bouillon flavored with tomato. Give it one last taste test. Mine was perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on it. I'm gonna put it on high pressure cook for about 12 minutes, and then I'm gonna let it slow release for at least six minutes. And while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping my topping. Okay, I'm gonna cut up about half of a huge onion into little cubes, and then I'm gonna chop up some a whole cilantro, and then I'm gonna cut up about six to eight lemons. All right, it cooked for 12 minutes and slow released for six. So now I just let the pressure out and it's all done. Now I'm gonna take a lot of the sauce and strain it into a bowl. And this is gonna be for dipping the tacos and also for the cosume.
I'm gonna just put it to the side while I cut up the meat. All right, meat's all cut up, got my workstation ready, and now time to start making my queso tacos. Oh yeah, and then I always pour some of the juice on top of the meat, and this is just one of the ways I do it, I, and this is another way. I will put it all in a bowl and put a lot of juice in there, but when I make it inside the house, I don't really like to do it too much like that because it just pops a lot, but I will be showing you how I make it on my Blackstone grill in just a second. So yeah, I went ahead and heated up my grill, and then I'm just giving it a nice layer of oil to start heating up the oil, and then I just go ahead and place my tortillas on there to give it like a little soft crispy. Then I'm gonna go ahead and flip them, then I'm gonna put some cheese, and then some of the birria and then I'm gonna fold them over like a taco and crisp both sides another way to do it is to dip the tortillas inside of the sauce and then put them on the grill and do everything that we just did but like I said when I cook them in the house it makes such a mess with the popping I'm always burning myself when I do them on my stove I just prefer to do it like this and then I dip them in the sauce after And you want to make sure that there's enough oil there before you flip them so that way they don't stick and they get crispy. Alright, the first batch is done and I'm going to go ahead and start plating them. So what I do is I just dip each taco inside of the juice and then stick them on a plate. And then we'll make the cosume. So I use a little bowl and then I just fill it up with the juice. Then I stick in some onion, some cilantro, and a lot of lemon. I love it lemony. And then yeah, that's what we're gonna use to dip our tacos in. These queso tacos with the cosume are so good and they are one of my family's favorite meals. This is how I like to do them like this with the juice, the broth with the beef, and then grilling them, dipping them with the sauce. And so I'm gonna just put this in fast motion. I just made these yesterday for my daughter's birthday. It was her request. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it in fast motion to just kind of show you how I do it when I dip them. And let me just tell you that I am in love with our Blackstone grill. We bought it in the summer and this is the first time that I've used it. And wow, I don't think I'm ever gonna go back to making my birria tacos in my house. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And here's my husband trying them. <laughs> he gets really shy when I film him. He's so funny, but he loves them as well. Thanks again for watching, and I hope you have an amazing, blessed week.